everyone, it's Pamela and welcome to Puffy Books. Today we're going to be discussing um, my first ever buddy read, which was for The Serpent King by Jeff Sentner. Okay? So, uh, what I did was join forces with two other booktubers plus the subscriber of one of those women as well to make a group of four, which those people were Christine from Kizzy Reads, Alana from Alana Reads and a woman called Jean who is one of Christine's subscribers. I'll put the links to their channels in the comment box below for anyone who wants to check them out because they're all really really nice women so you should go say hello okay. Alright um, this was my first ever time doing a buddy read which I found it to be actually quite beneficial for me because I'm really bad for falling into reading slumps and getting distracted once I've tried to start a book. So what we did was break the book up into sections which worked out as an average of about 62 pages a day that we would each read and then we would discuss online our thoughts on the sections of the book we'd read each day. Um, originally I should have been finishing the book today but I finished it late last night instead because for all four of us, once we, we reached a certain part of the book, we didn't want to have to stop and we kept going and finished the book a little bit earlier than schedule. Okay? Now, The Serpent King by Jeff Sentner is a debut, debut novel that was originally published in March. I think it was the last show this year. I can't remember. doesn't say. I think um, we all received our copies as Owl Crate subscribers so I made it a lot easier knowing that we all had the exact same book to read from for our buddy read. So I'll just read from the back for you and I'll tell you a little bit more about the book itself okay. They lay for a while on their backs gazing into the starry expanse through railroad tracks listening to the dark river below. This might be it, Dill thought. This might be the best your life ever is, this moment, right now. I read somewhere that a lot of the stars we see don't exist anymore. They've already died and it's taken millions of years for their light to reach the earth, Dill said. That wouldn't be a bad way to die, Lydia said, giving off light. light for millions of years after you've gone. Now, the Serpent King itself tells the story of three teenagers called Dill, Lydia and Travis, who are best friends and they live in a town called Forestville, which is just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Dill is the son of a preacher who is currently in prison for owning images of a sexual nature of a minor. His wife, Dill's mother, is very much in denial as to her husband's crimes. Uh, the, his best friend Travis is obsessed with a book series referred to as Bloodfall, which is, I wouldn't necessarily say it was intended to be in the same vein of Game of Thrones, it's very much set in the same kind of fantasy environment and the third of their group Lydia is the daughter of a dentist and is very much considered to be one of the, the, the local more better off people and she is the owner of a, a successful blog called Dollywood um, I don't really want to go too much into detail about what's actually in the story itself because uh, spoilers and I'm hoping that a few of you will pick this book up because I found it to be very easy to read. The The language and the, st and the style used is very accessible. I could recognise elements of myself within Dill's character based on his reactions to certain things especially his the school environment because I myself had a very very much love-hate relationship with going to school. I liked 
the learning part, but not so much the people around me a lot of the time. Um, so, the, the events of this book mostly take place over the course of a school year, running from around September to September time frame. Um, there's not much discussion of Christmas, but you know it is implied as to which season is which throughout the text. I'm just going to now finish off with two of my favourite quotes from the book. Now, one of them is a quote intended to be taken from the book Bloodfall, which is a favourite of the character of Travis's, and it goes like this. Rest all night, proud in victory, proud in death. Let your name evermore be a light to those who loved you. Let white flowers grow upon this place that you rest. Yours was a life well lived, and now you dine in the halls of the elders at their eternal feast. Now, there are a few parts in this book that did genuinely actually make me cry, and I don't cry at books, so I think that's a testament as to the strength of the writing and how much that everyone who was reading along with me loved the characters. So I do highly recommend this one. I've not put up a Goodreads review yet, but I'll be giving this four, four and a half out of five stars because I would have liked for it to be a tiny bit longer or to perhaps have an epilogue where we could see what the main characters are up to six months later after the events of this book. Okay, and I'm just gonna read one more quote to you that I also liked because I think that it sums up very much the journey that the characters go on throughout the story. And if you're going to live, you might as well do painful, brave and beautiful things. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you'll stick around for my next video, which I haven't decided what book that's going to be on yet. But I'll let you know on Twitter if any of you want to follow me on there. Which you can find me as Puffy Books on Twitter and Tumblr as well. I'll put links to those below for you. Okay, so... Bye, see you later.